Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the channel, man. Hey, coming at you guys from the garage, man. Doing another little different video today. Um, decided to make a change on the way I haul my kayak. Um, I've been hauling it like this, um, but I want to try something different, man. Um, with the amount of travel that I got to do here in Cali for these tournaments, man, I decided to get me a rooftop tent. So I'm gonna make some modifications to, to my rack system and whatnot, and um, hopefully it works out the way I want it to work out. Come on, Nick. So what I did was I picked up a um, overhaul HD. Picked one of those bad boys up with the bars. Um, so we will see how this is gonna work out. Uh, that is what my tent is gonna go on. Uh, and also I bought the Smitty Built or Blend Gen, Gen 2 tent. I, I, I almost got the XL, but I was like, I don't really need that much uh, space just for me, so. Went ahead and got the, the standard one, man. So, what we're gonna do, man, is I'm gonna do the install of the um, of the overhaul tonight. And uh, if it doesn't get too dark, if it does get too dark, I'll do the tent stuff tomorrow morning or whatnot, and um, show you guys that doing something different, man. So, be a little time lapse here. I'll speed things up as I go through the process of doing the install and whatnot, and I'll show you the finished product in the AM. All right, y'all. This is what I'm running, right? So I've been running this uh, Rhino Rack system here, um, with just the front end of the kayak on here. And I also have the Yakima long arm that are off the back, right? You've seen the pictures. Um, but I also have a Retrax um, XR, so it has the channels, so you can slide stuff in and out of it. Um, so that's why I have the overhaul, I have the tonal cover kit that I will slide in here. Um, we're gonna see how this is gonna work out. What I would like to do is to be able to put the kit, tonal kit, I mean the uh, overhaul up on here and still be able to use that for my kayak. So my kayak will be underneath the rooftop tent, the rooftop tent and be on top. It may not work. <laughs> I may have to end up having it to where I have the rooftop tent up top and then I'll have the bed extension laid down with the, with the kayak and the bed of the truck. So that's, that's how it may end up. I would like it to go the other way, but hey, if it works that way, it's gonna work that way. So we'll figure it out. We'll see how it goes, man. Let me get to doing the install on here and I'll check with you guys in a second. So here's everything we got. Um, all the parts, install parts, man, and all the hardware. Like this looks a lot more than what I, <laughs> than I expected it to be, man. I thought I'd get a couple bolts and then that'd be it, but it looks like I gotta do a little bit more screwing than I wanted to. Um, let's get to it, man. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great.
that's gonna do it uh, for this install, man. Um, they're up. They're on. I would do the tent tonight, but I realize I'm in the garage and the tent is uh, gonna hit the top of the roof. I wouldn't have any room clearing to get the hell up out of here, man. So <laughs> I'm gonna do the install, the tent and stuff tomorrow. Uh, I'll record that and obviously it'll be a part of this video, but that's it. That's done. Took a little while, probably about total of, I don't know, I'd say about hour and a half for the full install of that so I don't know hopefully my plan will work I think what I had was my rack was here right about here my other crossbars so if I can manage to get um, the kayak underneath that maybe it'll rock that way we will see but it's all good I'm all done for this part see you guys in the morning for the next part peace all right guys next day here um let's get started on assembling or disassembling or assembling or whatever you want to do loading this guy up on to the truck man so i don't know how i'm gonna do this i'm by myself i know this thing is fairly heavy so um i don't know <laughs> we're gonna figure it out i'll work something out but i'm gonna set you guys outside here um and actually you know what no i'll just post you guys up right here while i un I'll unbox this guy. What I'm gonna do is just uh, open this up. Maybe there's instructions inside of it. Tell me what to do, and go from there. But I don't even know how to open it up. <laughs> we'll get it though. That was simple enough. Um, it's open. Now I just need to uh, see if the ladder and the rest of the hardware is actually inside. We will see. But we gotta figure out how to get inside this mug. Alright, SSI. I'm assuming I enter from. Is this my entrance? Like an entrance, maybe, maybe not. Let's see if this is. So, looks like all the hardware is inside here, so let me climb in here and grab the hardware out and go from there. I think that's all the hardware. Let me go get this thing situated and um, we'll go through what's in the box and what I have to assemble and whatnot. We'll run it from there. Got a little bag. I guess it's the bag that you put your boots and stuff in outside of the tent. These are the, uh, I guess, the risers for the uh, rain rain flaps or whatever bag of hardware still don't see no instructions though there we go 
start. A USB cable? Oh, that's cool, I guess. I don't know if they have them to use that for, but. Okay, with that, the chargers, some more cables, and uh, some bungees. And then I also got my got the ladder there. This is the, so the Gen 2, they made this tuber ladder instead of the other one. I guess the other one had problems. Or people just complained enough about it, so they finally changed it out to uh, this telescoping tuber type aluminum. So that was the upgrade from the Gen 1 to the Gen 2. And this is the cover. All right, put that to the side. Let me tell you something. If you got two people, you use two people. If you want this by yourself, uh, yeah, that ain't the deal, man. <laughs> Certainly not. Golly. That was one step. That's why you need two people. Woo! All right, so I got it up on there, man. Um, now I'm gonna tighten down the bolts on the bottom, scare it to the rail, and then that should be really it, man. And I'll uh, let it out and see how it looks and whatnot, and yeah, go from there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, extend it out, man. I'm gonna move my truck though, park over here in this dirt area right here. Uh, look a little more even over there. Um, and uh, we'll see how it's gonna look. I'm gonna bring you guys out here, but it is windy, so. I apologize, it feels a lot of wind. Let's figure this thing out.
Well, there she goes. She's out. It's windy. I said it's windy out here. Um, let me see. make this thing stick out. We'll see. I'm in there. Man, I gotta figure all the straps and whatnot out too. So. She goes, man. I know it's dark in there. Um, let me put them up in there. Ugh. All right, we in here, man. Try to get some light. We got light. And this one opens up back here too, and of course these ones on the side open up. So I'm gonna call this a success, man. Um, not gonna extend the rain flaps on here, man, right now. I'll do it later, I won't do it on camera, but there you have it, man. Got the install. Now, only thing I'm gonna do later on is see if my kayak will fit on the rack underneath this. If not, then I'll have to put this in the bed. I mean, I have to put the kayak in the bed of the truck with the uh, extended band with the gate down. So, which I don't want to do, but whatever. If that's how I like to travel, I'll travel that way. But yo, thanks for watching this video, man. A little different than what I normally do. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, I do fishing videos, man. Um, this is not only what I do, but if you like this video, hit the like button anyway and subscribe anyway. Um, check out some of my other videos on the channel uh, and I'll check you guys later. Peace.